You might have questions when you hear that you need an IV, but an IV is a great way to give your body the fluids or medicine it needs. Your mom, dad, or another adult can be with you. IV stands for intravenous, which means inside the vein. You may need to change into a hospital gown if you're not already in one. First, a vein needs to be found. Veins look like light blue lines under your skin. After the right vein is found, a wide elastic band will be tied above the vein. This usually makes the vein stick out a little. Next, your skin will be wiped clean to get rid of any germs. If you're feeling nervous, it can help to take some deep breaths, hold someone's hand, or distract yourself with music or a video. A needle is used to insert a tiny plastic tube, kind of like a thin straw, under the skin and into the vein. This might hurt a little, but only for a second. Then the needle comes out. The tiny tube stays in and will be used to send fluid or medicine into your body. The tube is taped in place so that it doesn't move around or come out. A plastic cover may be taped on top to protect the tube. Try not to touch it. Once the needle is out, the tube shouldn't hurt, so tell someone if it does. The little tube in your skin is connected to another long tube. This hooks up to a plastic tube or bag of fluid or medicine. A small machine called a pump might be used to help medicine or fluid slowly go into your vein. You may feel nothing or a cold feeling in your arm. The IV bag hangs on a pole that can be wheeled around as you move. Remember, an IV is there to help you. Think of it as a very long straw for your thirsty body.